hi ladies welcome back to the channel i am nina and if you are new here welcome and today we're going to be talking about is dating up for you okay i have made a video before about if the upgrade in general is for you make sure you check that out but in this video almost like a part two I'm going to be talking specifically about dating up, dating as a feminine woman, leveling up in that arena, okay? Is it for you? Is it not for you? How do you know how to do something about it, okay? So, I've got my notes over here. I have my beverage over here. So, sink in. And let's get into the topic. Okay. So, <clears throat> let me get comfortable. Is dating up for you? It's not for everybody. Um, not everybody wants to date up. And not everybody is going to be able to date up so you really have to know yourself enough to know what is for you and what is not for you okay leveling up when i speak about it and you know in the general loose kind of term is not really necessarily specific to one arena in your life if you just level yourself up i made a video about this i'll link it up here a lot of other things start leveling up around you as well okay so you kind of have to prioritize the things that are more important for you and be realistic about what it is that you want okay so i'm going to be speaking from that perspective all right there's there's a healthy amount of women that want to date up they want to meet successful men they want to be treated like ladies you know they want to feel special they want to feel cared for they want to feel valued and whatever that looks like for you okay so dating up is something that a lot of us do on purpose because that's what we want so ladies if this is something that you want i'm going to share three tips of mine that um will help you decide in my opinion whether dating up is really something that you want to do or not okay so let's jump into it all right so tip number one or self-introspection number one um do you like men do you like masculine energy so this is very deep i know but it is very necessary okay because ladies think about it if you start dating a certain type of man and you only date you know a certain type of man that is probably likely the kind of life that you're going to end up with so that's the person you're probably going to buy property with you're probably going to have children with you're going to share you know a life with right so you really have to be very conscious about how you pick your partners so if you don't like masculine men and but you're dating masculine men and by default you're probably going to end up married to a masculine man you really have to ask yourself if that is sustainable for you so there's ranges when it comes to masculinity you know um just like there's ranges in femininity and there's ranges of in between of both right but if in principle men aren't really your cup of tea like deep down inside you just don't see their value or you just don't enjoy their energy 
if you're not able to really get into um masculine energy like that you know or really be receptive to masculine energy like that you're going to struggle with dating up because most of the men that you're going to date if you are looking to level up and date up date up they're going to be very masculine okay to whatever degree but they're going to be very masculine and they're going to be the masculine one in the relationship so if you are always competing with masculine energy you're always trying to prove that you're better than the masculine whether you're trying to prove it by being masculine or you know it's also pretty toxic to think that you your worth as a woman is higher than your worth as a man no in the dating world yes there are different uh scales <laughs> okay men and women are not measured the same in the dating world and that's just how it is right but that doesn't take away from a person's self value okay so yes you want to be able to get the feminine experience in a relationship and value yourself as such but if you really don't have any capacity to care for a masculine energy man from that feminine perspective if you cannot appreciate masculinity if you cannot allow masculinity to exist around you without feeling like you have to measure up or outdo it right if you are not able to relax and allow that man to show up you know as hard as he can for you if you have to micromanage you're going to struggle okay so now does this mean you have to completely be like super laid back no okay you sometimes may need to assert yourself and not really in like a i'm here type of way but you may need to address certain things um you know initiate certain conversations put up certain uh boundaries or have certain requirements which is quite uh masculine as well but if you already every single day every single moment every opportunity you get you jump on him and you try and you prove how much more masculine you are how much more whatever you are even when you come through with constructive criticism or whatever it's not going to be very easy for him to be receptive to you because he's always defensive do you, do you understand what i mean so if someone is always cutting you down when they give you constructive criticism it's very difficult to receive it right so if you're constantly on this man's case he's gonna not be able to differentiate between okay she actually has a point this time and oh gosh not again right so if yeah so be able to receive masculine energy um learn to have a relationship with masculine energy outside of yourself as well as inside of yourself so that when you are around masculine men you are able to give them the space to be as masculine as they can around you and for you and with you and if you're able to do that you're more likely to have success with dating up okay so that was point number one all right um or introspection number one all right number two is do you like women and do you like feminine energy this is a bit of a triggering one so you know if you need an extra cushion hook it up But it needs to be spoken about, okay? If you do not like women, as a woman, okay? Or as a man, I don't know if men uh, watch my videos, but I'm speaking specifically as a woman. If you do not like women 
and you do not like feminine energy, you will not be able to date up. You will not be able to level up. All right, leveling up and dating up is very energetic, okay? So if you don't have a certain relationship with certain um, energy, it's going to be difficult for you to have certain success. All right, so let's talk about feminine energy. If as a woman, you are looking to level up your feminine game, your attractiveness, all of that good stuff, your dating and all of that, you really have to have a lot of feminine energy, like a lot, okay? You cannot just show up with, you know, a cute face and a cute outfit and expect miracles to happen. If you don't have a feminine touch or um, energy about you, it's going to be very obvious, okay? And sometimes you're not aware of it but even the way that you relate to other feminine beings around you in your environment and all of that stuff if you are not comfortable with feminine energy you're not going to be able to interact with women in a particular way so let's talk about hobbies for example okay let's say you're starting a new hobby and you know maybe it's something like pilates yoga or a paint class or something nice and feminine and cute okay if you start socializing and you know meeting women there that are in their feminine energy and you don't have a personal relationship with feminine energy or a healthy relationship with feminine energy you are going to be constantly triggered by these women because the energy that they exist in is not the same energy that you exist in. It's the same as, you know, if you are um, on a date with this man and, you know, you're getting served by a feminine energy, you know, uh, woman. Sometimes if you are not in touch with your own feminine energy, you're going to be triggered you can be triggered by women you know who are in your immediate vicinity who may come across as flirting with your partner but maybe they're just really feminine and they're more feminine than you so it looks like flirting to you because that's even beyond what you normally do okay so you really have to be aware of your relationship with feminine energy if you have a healthy relationship with feminine energy for example and you're out on a date and there's an attractive waitress who is taking care of you and maybe you know she's very friendly and she's very friendly with your partner if you are in your feminine energy you are you know uh, uh, well versed in your femininity let's put it like that right you are going to be able to take control of that situation in a very feminine subtle um, and yet firm way okay it's very easy to establish your place as a feminine woman when you are interacting with another feminine woman even if she's not feminine um, if you are in tune with your feminine energy or feminine energy in general so say for example you know you're very feminine you're very in your feminine element and all of that kind of stuff first of all you're not really going to be that triggered probably all right but secondly because you're already in this beautiful energy you're not going to feel like Oh, she's trying to take something from me or you know something like that or whatever you are really going to be in that space where you're able to um, see where she's coming from 
whether it's good or bad, this is probably like a motherly instinct that would come up and you would be able to address it as such, you know. Hi, darling. Hi, my darling. Um, listen. Do you know what I mean? That could be way more effective than having an attitude and looking insecure. So if you are really in a place where you, yourself, your own relationship with feminine energy is rusty and rocky and you don't, you don't appreciate it, when you see other people in their feminine energy, you're going to take it very personally as if they're trying to show you out, right? And that's not even the case. They're just being feminine. You know, if you're in a hobby with a lot of very feminine women and you're not feminine, you'll be triggered because you're going to feel how laid back they are, how soft their energy is. And you're not going to know where that's coming from. And you might sabotage yourself and their relationship and that relationship with them by thinking, oh, they have a certain privilege that you don't, or oh, they've had a certain life that you didn't, oh, it's unrelatable, you can't relate to them, you know, um, oh, you would never, you know, uh, relate to people on such a superficial level, you're this and that and whatever. The, you're missing out on so much, right? Where you could literally just learn how to soak things in, learn how to be in the moment, learn how to relate and, and, and learn on the different levels, learn about the different levels of femininity because everybody has a different aspect and interpretation of what femininity, femininity means to them, right? So being around a whole lot of feminine women, a whole lot of feminine energy, taking care of yourself, being in that feminine energy as much as possible, having that relationship is really going to help you to um, really soak in that, you know, um, in that uh, energy. And when you're able to do that, then dating becomes easier because it's almost like second nature for you to relax, be a princess, be a doll, you know, <laughs> be feminine. And even when you see someone else that's really feminine, you're inspired, you're, you're curious. You know, you want to know what is it about her that is so attractive so that you can incorporate it into yourself and it's not a competition. It's just a beautiful, you know, uh, way of growing. You know, there's really nothing unique in the world, right? In terms of like, if you're becoming more feminine, you're going to get inspiration from someone's dress code, someone's way of doing their hair, someone's way of doing their makeup. You might take bits and pieces of other people's stuff and put it together and then have some inspiration come to you and whatever but there's nothing wrong with looking at someone seeing something that they're doing um that you like and adopting it there's nothing wrong with it i mean you don't want to be like uh, a, a duplicate but you know if you see someone oh i like the way she does her hair let me try doing my, my hair like that and you do it okay this works okay this doesn't work or whatever now you've just you know developed a new style or adopted a new style for yourself inspired by right that's how fashion works that's how everything works okay so that is a reflection of you loving feminine energy because you're getting inspired by it you're not triggered, you're not jealous, you don't feel less than, you don't feel like, you know. And if that's how you feel, that's also okay. But understand that that needs attention. You need to address that if you're going to enjoy your level up, dating up experience, right? Um, if you came through with low feminine energy this time and you were triggered by a high feminine energy woman, then just go back get more into your feminine energy, do what you gotta do, honey, and come back even more feminine and you'll be able to see the progress even within yourself. I have made a video about how to recharge your feminine energy. If you want some tips on how to do that, you can check that out, but definitely get in touch with your feminine energy, okay? Okay, and then lastly, 
do you like you hmm. do you like you a lot of leveling up is inner work that's what i've discovered makeup and dress code and everything is important but if that's all you're gonna do there's certain benefits that you're not going to accomplish but if you're willing to address some of the deeper stuff it can really help you to move mountains right so do you like you what does that mean do you have such a deep love and appreciation for yourself that you're willing to make sacrifices if you're not at that place with yourself you will not be able to date up why because first of all you're going to be asking people to see you in a way that you don't see yourself and that's just crazy okay so um you need to really understand that at the end of the day you can meet somebody amazing you can meet somebody who is going to make all your dating dreams come true all your relationship relationship dreams come true um all all your dreams come true you can literally meet that person and have all of those beautiful things happening but if you don't fundamentally love yourself like yourself appreciate yourself value yourself you're probably going to sabotage it or you're going to have a hard time sustaining that relationship because you will always get back to that thing of why does this person like me what do they like about me maybe they're just here to exploit me maybe they're here to whatever it's actually got nothing to do with the other person it has everything to do with I am not worthy of somebody doing something so amazing for me so I'm going to treat this person like they are a um, an intruder because this is foreign to me and I'm not willing to accept it I'm not able to so I will treat this person like an intruder until they finally leave and then I can say aha I knew it okay I knew it. I was expecting to be disappointed. I was expecting for somebody to not show up for me. I was expecting that nobody sees my value. Why? Because I don't even see it. Very triggering, I know. But ladies, if you aren't willing to address these things within yourself, you open yourself up to people who will take advantage of you and you won't have the courage to say something about it. If you like yourself, you can turn things down that are not for you and let me tell you not every man that has money that is uh, successful is going to be generous with you and not every man that is generous with you is going to be good for you okay just like not every broke man is going to really love you the way you're supposed to be loved like they make it seem like people with money are capable of loving it's only broke people broke people lie broke men lie broke men cheat okay so let's just get that out of the way but you know m successful generous men aren't perfect either they're human you know some play games some you know they're not trying to commit da, 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 right so if you don't like you you're not going to be able to filter these people out you're gonna overvalue them and undervalue yourself there are times you're gonna have to walk away from a really comfortable relationship because the your value is no longer being seen and if you don't like you enough to do that you won't be able to do it and if you can't do it you may have dated up for a couple of dates or a couple of months or whatever but when you start accepting dustiness or less than what it is that you actually wanted then you are basically compromising what you know you like and overvaluing another person's presence in your life if you like you and value you and love you more than you know um the next person then when certain things happen that you don't like you're going to be able to say and you don't have to be rude and defensive or anything but you can clearly communicate i don't like that uh -uh. no i prefer da -da 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 -da. or i like it when you do this 
I prefer this, you know, you're still going to be able to be polite about it because you're convinced about who you are and what you like. And, but you are going to have, you know, enough self-love to communicate. This is a boundary. This is a no, this is a whatever. And, you know, if, if it comes from a place where that's really who you are, it, it, it just, it naturally happens. You don't have to sit and calculate and I'm, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to do that. Da, da, da. No, no, I actually like this. I don't really like this. And it's not a fight. But underlying is, if you want it, if you don't want it, if you like it, if you can handle it, it is what it is, okay? So ladies, get in touch with your masculine energy, get in touch with your feminine energy, get in touch with yourself. When you accomplish these three things, well not accomplish because it's not like a start and finish thing, right? But when you start finding balance in these three areas you're going to find it so much easier to relate um with you know your dating up goals and all of that kind of stuff you're going to be able to accomplish them quicker you're going to be able to discern the people that are coming in if they're here for what you're here for or not and you're going to be able to handle situations more gracefully and in a more balanced way because of the kind of balance that you have with these energies within you all right i hope this video was helpful let me know and um i will definitely see you beautiful ladies in the next one remember to stay feminine and remember that masculine energy is oh, is bae <laughs> all right so don't be shy don't be scared of it ladies um, have a relationship with it so that when you do Im uh, eventually meet that masculine energy that is going to make whatever dating dreams come true for you, you're going to be in a position to appreciate and enjoy um, what it is that they're bringing in. Okay? All right. I'll see you ladies in the next one.